What's up, what's up, what's up, my fellow Aryans? Welcome, guys. I hope you're having a beautifully, phenomenally blessed day. Thank you for joining me for a moment in Becky's House of Cards, where today we are going down the rabbit hole with what's going on in love. And I just want to keep in mind, I want you guys to keep in mind, A, this is a general reading, but also these could be very triggering because I'm not doing a love prediction, guys. I don't do love predictions. If they come up, I will talk about it, but mainly... My readings are more focused around self-healing, what the energy is currently causing, the triggers it's causing, and how to overcome that, or suggest advice on what it is that you can do. Ultimately, though, guys, you do have free will, and you do have to use your discernment, your intuition, to take back your own power and to make the decisions that best serve you on your journey, which is always my prayer for any of those of you that spend time with me on my videos, which I do truly thank you for. Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, set that notification bell down below. Also, guys, I want to thank you, my OGs, my new Gs, and anybody that allows me your most precious time. It is truly an honor, a blessing, and a pleasure being here with you guys. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Source, what messages do you have for Aries and what's going on with love? What messages do you have for Aries in regards to what's going on with love? I feel like you guys are purging right now. Uh, you guys are purging out why it is that you maybe had completely failed relationships or maybe just bad luck in the past with relationships because you guys really want a family. And you're realizing that it's not always everybody else's fault. I think for maybe some long you guys for so long you guys maybe put the blame on other people. Not intentionally, it's just something that you guys did. And it was an old pattern, and I think you had to realize that pattern in order for you to heal this, this belief that you have bad luck when it comes to love or when it comes to family. And also letting go of the need to be approved by everybody else. I think that's been something that's weighed on you for a while, is like, I need to be in the circle. And it's like coming away from the circle and truly owning yourself as an individual has been something that's been not only a challenge, but it's something that you've also welcomed. It's like I'm done being in this energy of not welcoming in this challenge because I want what I want, but I need to figure out why I'm not getting it. And so instead of blaming everybody else, you guys have looked at yourself and that's it's brought you into a good energy. But let's see what else comes out. That's the channel message for you guys. Source, what messages do we have for Aries? Thank you. Yeah, on the path to a positive outcome. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good energy coming in. You guys are definitely doing the work. It's like... Through all of that, you've learned something very valuable about yourself. You guys could be dealing with a Libra, but you don't have to be. And I think that what ultimately happened is you realized you were outgrowing this pattern or this belief or this way of thinking or this way of being. And it's like in realizing that, that's what gave you the courage to see it not as somebody else's fault, but, and not even as your own fault. Like, I don't, I don't want it to sound like that. This is just like, as something that was a blockage for you guys, right? When it came to love. Yeah. I think that this was hard for you. Again, like this energy coming through that it was difficult for you to see things this way. I apologize. I need a drink. Oh, shoot. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just got so thirsty all of a sudden. Because you're emotionally exhausted. You guys are emotionally exhausted. You guys have given so much of yourselves away. But it's almost like you gave yourselves away to the wrong people. And it's like the people who maybe you did have an opportunity with. I keep hearing I missed an opportunity. But Source is saying there was no missed opportunity. Even if it means, it feels like there was. That had to happen in order for you to learn this valuable lesson when it came to love. And that was that you do matter. You do have a voice. But you also have to allow others to have a voice too. And not be blaming everybody. So the chariot wants to come out in reverse. Yeah, there was a spiritual defeat here. So you guys maybe had a very spiritual connection come into your life and, and it caused you a lot of distress because this person triggered you. And I think that you didn't think that you had any say in this person's life. But understanding if this person triggered you nine times out of ten, you're, you're also triggering them. And I feel like they did take the lesson from it. And I feel like they left you empty and that's what, that's what forced you to learn something here. It's like, it kind of like realized that, wow, like this person made me see something about myself that I didn't like. 
and you decided to change it because you, you're tired. Like, I keep hearing how tired you are. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting with myself. I'm tired of resisting the journey. I'm tired. Like, your spirit is just like, come on, let's do this. And you're like, okay. Yeah, and you're tired of being in this greedy energy of just, like, so when this comes out in the reverse with the spiritual energy here, it's just telling me it's like your emotional ego is trying to keep you blocked. And that's what you're tired of. It's like you're realizing now because you've lost a lot of people in your life. And I feel like that's the thing. It's like this is a lot of loss causing you a lot of mental strife. And realizing you have to go within and honor that. You have to honor how you feel in this now moment. And because of that loss, it caused situations where it was like you were greedy with your energy. And you felt so insecure about it. And so because of the insecurities coming out, and you didn't realize that this was an insecurity until you finally looked a little bit deeper in. I'm sorry about the lighting in here, guys. I'm trying to figure out something that's working. So, And then there was a sense of needing to control the situation. And, and again, like I said, you guys were so concerned about how people viewed you. And when the Pope S comes out in the reverse, it's it's not listening to your intuition because you're afraid of how you're going to appear to others. So whether that's, and this is just an example. I'm not saying you guys did this, but this is just an example. Say that you guys passed on rumors about this person. And then the rumors were that you could never get along with them. And then all of a sudden you realize, damn, I really have to get along with them. And now I have to go against everything that I said about this person. Again, just an example but it's like that's what was making you concerned about it, right? That's what was making you try to control the situation. It was almost like causing a lot of mayhem just so that you could pr prove that what you had said about this person was right. And especially starting off with these swords cards, it's talking about communication. The communication was not very good. There wasn't, you know, there wasn't a way to communicate what it was you were truly feeling. And so it came back to this. I'm hurt, and so I'm going to say that I'm hurt, but the way I'm going to say I'm hurt is by blaming it on others. All right? And that's what this situation has caused you. So what's going on in love? It's bringing you into a place of really learning more about yourself, which even if it seems rough, it's ultimately what you needed. So for some reason, this card wants to be here in the center. I had no intentions of moving it over that far, but that's what happens. So I'm just going to go with it. We'll get there, guys. Don't worry. We'll get there when we get there. I didn't have a specific card I was asking for, but that's where it wanted to be. But, yeah, I think that you've been fighting internally a lot. And I think that that came out with this person. So I feel like this person communicated something to you and it made you just see things in a whole different way. Or this person brought in a third party and they communicated to that third party something. And that's what made you see things in an entirely different way. And so I think overall, it was just kind of like, you know, again, being concerned about what other people think if they brought in a third party. And guys, I'm not saying that this is a bad thing. This is everything that every human deals with in this earth. Like, it's something that we all have to go through is being afraid and overcoming what other people might think of us or what they might say of us. So again, I'm not saying this is a personal plight against you guys. This is just something that we all have dealt with or we all are going to deal with at some point in time. The only difference is, is are you going to choose to let that determine what you do with your life? Or are you going to overcome that old belief? Because it is an old belief, right? Let me see if I can get better lighting on here, guys. I'm just trying to... Okay, that's a little better. And so that's the thing. It's like you're, you're, you're in this place of realizing, is this really how I want to be a you know, approach people, especially somebody who's teaching me this lesson. And whether you deal with this person in the future or not, does not matter. That's not what matters. What matters is, is that you're learning that it's exhausting to deal with this person. It's exhausting to deal with you fighting this person. It's exhausting to deal with you fighting the old belief. And that's where the healing's coming from. It's like, your spirit causing create or creating chaos in your life. So it forces you to heal. And that sounds cruel, but it's ultimately the quickest way for us to heal as humans. Look at that. Look at that. The 10 of swords coming out in the upright. Yeah. This person's your match. This person likes arguing. And this person, that's what triggers you is this person likes arguing. And I think you like arguing too. You're ruled by Mars. The planet is the aggressor, right? It's like you like to be aggressive by nature. It's nothing bad, but like if there was ever a warrior on the battlefield, it would be you, Aries. You and Scorpio, 
right? Because you guys are ruled by Mars. Scorpio is also ruled by Pluto. But again, you have that, that Mars in the chart there. And it, depending on where your Mars placement is, will also determine a few things. But there's this energy of feeling like I have to fight what's mine and I have to prove that I'm right. And it's like this... So either you or this person finally just relinquished control in the situation and you had to decide what was more important to you. Is it more important to argue with the situation and to be emotionally exhausted by it? Or is it more important to persevere and survive and get again with spiritual growth? Anytime the lovers comes out, it is about a decision. Yes, but ultimately in my deck, the lovers card is talking directly about your spiritual growth. The chariot is all about spiritual growth. It's like moving from the 3D into the 5D realm and learning how to manipulate things. And manipulate may be a bad word. How to integrate. There we go. How to integrate things on a level that we're not able to see physically, but only to feel. Right? And so it's like, that's the thing. It's like you realize that this is not going anywhere. It's like with these two coming out, why the lovers wanted to be here, I absolutely understand because it's saying... Do you want to stay in a position where you're exhausted and potentially feeding into this greedy energy of the emotional ego, whether this is yours or theirs? It doesn't matter, but this is still feeding that, okay? It's still feeding that energy, and it's like, what's more important to you? Because this person, no matter what, is always going to argue. And, of course, you being Aries, it's 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 almost in your blood, like, you got to argue back because it's like, no, I'm right. You don't understand. That's the aggressor from Mars, but you guys have the opportunity to relinquish that. And it's not like you're relinquishing whether you're right or wrong. You're just relinquishing the fact that this doesn't need to be such an exhausting situation. And you guys realize that. Like you realize that you're coming in to make a change. You're coming in to be your hero. You're coming in to change what it is that's going on with the situation. Right? Look at how you're rushing towards this lover's card. You're like, look. Regardless of what's going on, my peace is more important to me. And so you're looking to find balance with the situation. Well, the balance starts with you. It doesn't start with this person. Yeah, and this is, look at this. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. This is straight Sagittarian energy here, the King of Wands and Temperance. Straight up. You guys are learning how to balance your energy and finding courage within yourself to persevere. Right? You're overcoming a situation that's maybe made you feel like you've always gone down the wrong road and then you also realize that this person doesn't have the love that you're looking for it's not, they're not able to give you the love it's one-sided love a broken heart and so you're learning to communicate fully with yourself when a situation's hopeless and you got to leave it that's okay it's like you're you're learning how to be okay with that and this is helping opening you up to new situations that are going to help you overcome and set better boundaries and get away from people who are repul imp repulsive. Wow. Who are impulsive and controlling. That's it. That's it. You guys are finding balance. You guys are learning how to balance out your own energy. And that's not always easy. That's not an, that's not an easy task. But it's like something kind of dawned on you there's like no matter what I do whatever I bring to the situation this person is always going to argue with me because they always think that they know better but again it's like I feel like this person also had a lesson to learn and and while I said at the beginning for some of the people that you're dealing with they did learn the lesson yes for others of you guys they're not going to yeah so we have 26 coming out which is eight this is ending a karmic cycle which is so insane because here you have uh, ancestors, right? This is the ancestors card with polar bear. And this is talking about generational curses. Like this is something that you've dealt with for generations. It's like your ancestors may have dealt with this, but now it's time for you to let it go so that you no longer have to deal with that. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have peacock prosperity 39, which is 11. Right? So it's like you found prosperity and letting go. It's almost like in letting go, you realize you could finally breathe again. And it was like, that's what brought you the balance. That's what took you away from trying to be. And I feel like that's what this greedy thing is. I'm so interesting that that came out. Sorry, as I'll show you in just a second. I know it's off camera. But I feel like that's also why this Ace of Coins came out in the reverse is because it's showing you that it's not like greed. It's not like greed with money and stuff like this. This is just that need to be right. And you're moving on. Right? You're letting it go. You're, you're like, I got to move on from this. And look, look at what we have coming out under their ancestors' generation. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. 
there's no way. Like, I just can't. So it's like, again, you're moving away from generational curses. You're realizing something about this situation. So this could actually be a family member that you're dealing with. You know, again, when I talk about love, love doesn't have to be romantic love. But I know it's like what everybody is obsessed with. But again, love is anybody that you care about. Anybody. Right? From your kids to your grandparents and all the way out to your friends, your aunties, your uncles, your cousins. It don't matter. Love is love. Then we have winter solstice coming out. Reflection. Look, both winter cards saying that this is like, this is so important for you to reflect on this situation. Like, what are you putting into it? And why are you putting so much energy into it? And then making a decision based on that. Making a decision to move forward based on that. Because you're going you're gonna to get out of it, Aries. Like, you're not going to just sit here in this energy anymore. I think that you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of being exhausted when it comes to situations like this. Right? You don't want to be here anymore. Look at that. We have number 11 coming out on the bottom. Look to your inner strength. You're stronger than you realize. Exactly. Like, like I think that sometimes you start getting caught up in the, the argument and... It's like, you're like, man, I should really stop. I should really stop. But then this person says something and you're like, no. And then you keep going and you're like, and then all of a sudden you go back to that, man, I really should stop. I really should stop. And I feel like that's why I look to your inner strength is coming out because saying when that comes, that's your spirit saying it's time to walk away. That and, and you listening to that is only going to break down that emotional ego that need to be right. And then you're, that's where the balance comes from. That's where your confidence comes from because it's like setting boundaries. It's like setting firm boundaries in a situation that might not otherwise have had boundaries. So we have number 31, which is four coming out. Four is talking about stability, your foundations, protection, things that are stable around you. So again, working on that inner foundation here is important. It says love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security and self-worth. So again, it's like just seeing the situation through eyes of unconditional love, like there's no need to argue. It's okay to state your point, but if it starts to get aggressive by any means, just being like, okay, you know, like I've, I've said enough or like we've talked about this enough, it's time for me to leave. And then we have 49, which is 14 or excuse me, 13, which is four again. So we have four, four coming out together, right? And we have action, speak loudly, express your love through actions. It's like, again, Setting boundaries is a, a loving action and people don't see it that way because people really take stuff like that personal, like, oh my gosh, they set a boundary against me. They must hate me. Like, no, I set a boundary against you or towards you because I have to protect myself and that's not selfish. Okay. That's me making sure that I have my P's and Q's in order so that we don't just end up in an all out fight. Right. But not everybody sees it that way. But that's what your actions speak loudly. It's like you got to take care of you first, Aries. You can't just let other people step all over you. OK, so I'm drawing an emotional clarifier card. So this is just kind of like an emotion that you could be experienced. You might have experienced or you will be experiencing. We're all at different stages on the journey. Interesting. Delighted came out. I do want to say you guys could be dealing with a um, a, uh, a Capricorn. You don't have to be. But also modesty is coming out. Yeah, I think that's definitely where you're at right now. Even when you argue, you still try to come from a modest place. Like, it's like you mean the best. But at the same time, it's like this person doesn't see it that way. And because they don't see it that way, it begins to escalate really quickly. And so I feel like once you reflect on the situation, you realize that this truly is an ancestral curse. And you're going to start seeing the patterns. You're going to be delighted because you're like, oh, I see the purpose. I see the reason why I was going through this. And it's going to like take a lot off of you. I'm going to draw a couple cards from my ghetto deck. This is kind of like the ghetto bag, but a little bit different. There's no rhyme or reason to these messages. They were just channeled messages as I went through. So it just turned into the ghetto deck. So nothing feels better than this. And I feel like exactly like when you guys realize that you're, you don't have to be in this place of arguing anymore. It's like, it's okay to ask questions. It's okay to find out more about a situation. It's okay to like learn about the situation. Okay. So those two want to come out. Um, but you guys are learning more, more and more that it's like, I don't have to stay in a situation where arguments are all that it is. Like I can actually change the way I feel about a situation and I can set those boundaries and be confident with the boundaries that I set. And that's what feels so good. Again, that's the confidence coming through. 
Yeah, you've given your power away. So whoever this person is, you realize that you've given too much power to them and what it is that they think, they say, or they're doing. Like you care about them a lot, this person, you really do. But you're realizing that you gave too much power away. And I feel like that's something that brings you into the state of reflection as well. It's like understanding that you have to take back your power. It says one must forgive in order to ever experience freedom. Yeah, there's a necessity to forgive this person. Not because you want them back in your life. But it's like forgiveness so that you can relinquish the chains that this person has on you. Because for the Ten of Swords to come out twice, once in the upright, once in the reverse, this is saying that this person has a hold on you mentally and they feel that. And the one you forgive them and you realize that this is just a generational curse that you're healing. And it's like there's no reason to hold on to resentment and anger with this person. It relinquishes this mental prison on you. And when that happens, this person's going to feel that disconnect. But again, it's it's up to you whether or not you let them come back in. Wanting you by means of entrapment. Okay, so for some of you guys, this is a love relationship and they want to get you, they want you they want you pregnant. I'm just saying for some of my divine femmes out there, they want y'all pregnant. They want you guys to to have their baby and they want you to be stuck with them for forever in this argumentative energy. But I don't think you will because on the bottom we have glamorama glamorama. So you're a hard worker, you got Gucci Ruby shoes, and bitch, you're a whole caker. I mean that with all the love, okay? So this this card is literally just saying, like, because she's too pretty, too pretty to really ever give a fuck. Like, that's the thing. It's like she ain't ever going to fall in love, right? Because this this woman is an independent, hard worker. She take care of herself. She take care of what's hers. And I feel like that's exactly where you guys are coming up into is this glamorama energy. It's like, look, you all do what you do, but I'm about to go take care of me. And when I take care of me and you give to yourself the energy that you've been giving to these people that aren't serving your journey, I think you're going to be surprised at how far and fast you move, right? So let's get some messages from the ghetto bag and then we'll leave it at that. Okay, one more. They said one more, one more. Okay, source, that's it. Sometimes Source will drag out like 20 of these bitches and I'm like, look, I can't. I'm sorry. I don't know why you have all these messages. Oh, shit. We got way more than I thought we had. Okay. See what I mean? Shoot, guys. Sorry. I've been over here cussing, trying not to cuss, and I just don't happen. We have rest before you burn out. It's time to take a break. Like, I feel like this rest before you burn out is all about reflecting on what's really gone on with you and really seeing things as they are. Like, there's no need to overdo yourself for any reason. It's like, just do what you know you need to. If you guys are owning your own business and you need to put in some work, put in some work. But you don't need to put in, like, a 20-hour day, like, or anything like that. Maybe, like, you have been doing. You guys are all about taking hard action, you know? And Source is just saying, you know... Find a place to really look at where you're at right now and reflect on that. It says you are not them. Exactly. Like this person, the way that they treated you, whatever it is, like you're not them. I'm trying to get these to focus, but it's too dark. So I hope you guys can read them while they're down here. I'm going to move this up here. So that way the light is on them. I don't know if it makes a difference if I pull it up any. Did that brighten it up a little bit? I don't know. We'll try that for a minute. I don't know how long I can sit with that. That light is bright. Too scared to say I love you. Yeah, so I feel like this person does love you, but I feel like they're way too, like, they just don't want to say it. Like, it's like, almost like having you in this argumentative energy is like their way of saying they love you. Please do not take like, that's okay to be treated like that. Okay, like, I don't, I'm not saying that, but it's like, I feel like this person grew up in an environment where... No one said I love you is just implied in the way it was implied. It's like those people who are like, oh, well, if I'm not giving you a bad time, then you know there's a problem. Well, those are people who grew up in families where they, it was just implied that they were loved because they were giving each other a bad time. But they didn't really care to the extent of what they were doing or anything like that. And you find people who really get hurt in situations like that. So I'm saying it doesn't matter if this person is treating you like shit. There's no reason to stick around and continue to be treated like shit. You deserve better. Okay. You carry a heaven bur a heavy burden. Let go and let source. Yeah, I feel like you guys are letting this situation really impact you in a bad way. 
Like, it's like almost like, again, with this rest before you burn out, it's almost like carrying it to the extent of like somehow, some way I'm going to find a solution to this. And like, this is source coming in. Like, there's no solution that you can ever come up with to this situation. Like, you got to let go and let me. Okay. We have crown chakra energy coming through again, source just clarifying itself here with the crown chakra. This is saying, connect with me. I'm the only one that can help you find a way out. You know, connecting with spirit is so important on this journey. And I feel like that's been really hard for you guys for whatever reason. And it's okay. Even if you just need to fall down on bended knee at night before you go to bed, say your prayers. You'll be surprised at what your dreams will tell you. I miss you. So I feel like for some of you guys, you did let this person go. And this person's trying to say, like, I miss you again, that entrapment energy coming back. This is just them saying what they think you want to hear so that you'll come back to them. So this is like source just saying, look out. There's the warnings. I keep hearing, uh, like, it's interesting because I don't actually see warning. What I hear is that ah, 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 noise in my ear right now. And I don't know why, but it's just telling me that this is a warning. Like, this person doesn't really miss you. They miss the fact that they had control over you. Time to let go. Exactly. Guys, I can't make this stuff up. This stuff comes out like this. It's that time to let go. You've given your power away. You got to forgive. Forgiveness is what frees you. Let this let go and let God like that's such a powerful statement. Whether you call God source, universe, Buddha, I don't care what you call God. Everybody thinks it matters. At the end of the day, it's a higher power, right? It's something that we have no comprehension of. So the name of it, it doesn't matter. What matters is you spend time with that source, with that spirit, with that being. Right? Because that's going to give you answers that you couldn't have gotten otherwise. So again, guys, whatever you call it, I'm not here judging. I'm just saying it's time for you to really reconnect with whatever source you believe in. Which is why I say source, because it's from which we came. But I'm not saying you have to call it that, because there's a lot of people who call it God, call it universe, call it goddess, call it whatever. Reconnect. Reconnect with your spirit. Okay? You guys are on a good path. I think you're about to overcome this. I think it's going to be like a realization of everything that's maybe happened up until this point and you're going to understand it and it's in that reflection that you're going to let go of some really old beliefs that you didn't realize were compartmentalized along your journey. Okay, I love you Aries. You guys are amazing. Don't beat yourselves up because I feel like that's what you're going to do, but this is just about letting go. Really letting go. Time to let go. You've let go coming out twice here. Like time to let go. Let go and let source like like this is so important for you guys. It's not about beating yourself up. This was just a part of the journey. And can you just enjoy that as is? OK, so please like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel down below. Set that notification bell so you always know when the next video does go live. With that being said, until next time, go forth boldly, my fellow Aryans, and courageously find creative ways to rise above in life, laughter and love. Until we meet each other next time. Peace out. I love y'all. Bye.